The French are renowned for their love of good food. French delicatessen owner Yannick Mazzario is certainly no exception. Yannick grew up in Brittany, France and knew from a young age what he wanted to do. At 12, his determined nature landed him a job at a restaurant and later at a creperie where he learnt the skills of service and washing up. I was brought up purely on healthy food, so you know, from the garden straight into the pot, straight into, on, on, onto our plates. We never ever had uh, takeaway meals until I was about 18. That's when I first moved to, uh, to England. But my mother got the passion through, through my grandmother. After completing his apprenticeship, Yannick travelled to London. He quickly found work in a friend's restaurant and ended up staying 15 years. It's a lot of private parties for Tom Cruise, for Jack Nicholson, for uh, I was a butler for um, uh, Mick Jagger. And uh, you know, you're a private butler, so you, you, you get to enter their, their private life in, in, in some extent. You get to open their cupboards and, and, and uh, use their cutlery, crockery, and, and so on. So there's a, a, an approach which is very different than if you were you know, um, serving them in a restaurant. In 2004, Yannick immigrated to New Zealand with his wife Marion. Finding work in the industry proved to be a struggle, but that was soon to change. Through a work colleague of Marion, Yannick was introduced to an investor looking to take on a new project. At the same time, an old pharmacy in Mount Talbot was available for redevelopment, and in Devonport, a delicatessen was for sale. The delicatessen went by the name of Pyrenees. Yannick could see the potential of both sites, and with his business partner on board, they bought both. He was then able to realise a dream of working in his adopted homeland doing what he loved. In 2005, Yannick took over the existing Devonport store and opened in Mount Albert later that year. In January 2009, Pyrenees Remuera was opened and his customer base has been steadily growing, but not without a lot of hard work. First Christmas was a huge challenge because I was clocking 120 hours a week for six weeks running. So that was a huge challenge, <laughs> but we made it, we pulled through. <laughs> And uh, you know the customers still coming uh, by the hundreds, which is you know quite rewarding. Yannick and his team worked hard to build up their clientele. His philosophy: be consistent. The food is based on authentic, simple recipes made with quality ingredients. Pyrenees produce around 65 different products in store, with a truly mouth-watering range of goods from traditional French pastries, tarts and baguettes to the meats, cheeses and dips. Yarnick supports as many local suppliers as possible. Pyrenees also stock a range of top quality goods from France, Spain and Italy. But being in an industry with a high turnover of staff brings its own challenges. Initially Yarnick found it difficult to recruit professionally trained chefs so he has relied on the working holiday scheme between France and New Zealand to find suitably qualified staff. He now has 31 employees. The majority work full time and most are fluent French speakers, making customers feel like they've been transported to France. Bonjour madame. Bonjour. Garnick's active involvement with his staff and customers has paid off. In the Devonport store alone, turnover increased 215% in the first three years. Yarnick's dedication to the business means that Pyrenees has featured in numerous print articles, receiving rave reviews. With Yarnick at the helm, Pyrenees has built up a reputation for providing Aucklanders with an authentic taste of France, a taste that is big on quality and consistency. So, if you have always wanted to escape to France and see why the French are renowned for their food, I suggest you take a visit to Pyrenees and try for yourself. Bon appétit!